late season storm coming in and having a big impact across northern Utah, not just with the rain and snow, but uh, knocking the temperature down. It's 36 degrees currently in Salt Lake City. It's uh, running well below freezing in Park City at 29. Same thing in Evanston. It's 39 in Roosevelt, farther south, 42 in Moab, 32 in Cedar City, 43 currently in St. George. So a lot of you will need that winter coat when you head out the door. But likely things have quieted down a little bit in the south. Uh, cloud cover breaking up. You got fair skies across portions of uh, western and eastern valleys, even though clouds are stacked up along and over the mountains and some of those adjacent valleys. But in the north, uh, we've got the valley rain, mountain snow, even a little bit of that snow coming down, not only on the benches, but south into the Salt Lake Valley. So that's going to slow some of you down. There are going to be some slushy roads out there, especially up on the benches, but even down below that, uh, wet roads on the valley floor. So plenty of reason to give yourself a lot of time to get around this morning. Now we've got a storm that's uh, sliding through. We'll get another one behind it that'll keep weather pattern unsettled through tomorrow with uh, a lot of snow expected in the mountains. In fact, a winter storm warning that will be in effect uh, for the northern mountains until noon Tuesday. Between now and then we could get 8 to 18 inches piling up. Great news for the water supply. Great news for any late season skiing, but Bad news if you're traveling over some of the higher passes over the next couple of days, so keep that in mind. In Salt Lake City, we're only going to be peaking in the uh, mid-50s this afternoon, running well below normal for this time of year. It'll be in the low 40s in Park City, mid-60s in Moab, 73 in St. George. But while it'll be stormy in the north with the rain snow mix early, that'll change over to rain in the afternoon with the possibility of thunderstorms that could bring some heavy precipitation at times. That becomes less likely the farther south you go, and in much of southern Utah, it'll be mostly sunny today. By tomorrow, big warm-up expected. Temperature will climb all the way up near 80. It will drop a little bit on Wednesday and then climb all the way up uh, near 90 degrees by the end of the weekend. So a nice recovery over the next several days. Northern Utah, we hang on to the cool, wet weather through tomorrow. In fact, we'll drop all the way down near 50 on Tuesday and Wednesday. But by the middle of the week, we'll be drying out. So second half of the week looks good. It'll become partly cloudy and luckily a nice warm up on tap with temperature climbing back into the low to mid 70s by Saturday and Sunday.